it's me. So today I'm doing another episode of Create This Book 2. Ah! What is Create This Book 2? I don't know, Create This Book 2. I know it's been a while since I've done a Create This Book 2 episode, um, and for that I apologize. I've just been busy painting on things, and painting on things, and painting on other things. But I always come back to my love. You know I always come back to you. You know that, right? I'm ready to create this book again. That's about it, so let's begin. So before we jump into the book, a little bit of ASMR for you. Flipping over to this page, this is where we're gonna start today. The directions say, create seasonal decor. Decorate this page based on the current season. So I drew this, some sort of creature. I'm drawing a, a human being here. Hopefully that's obvious. I feel like I haven't drawn a person in a while. I used to draw a lot of people back in the day, but as my channel got bigger, I started noticing more and more like criticism of my people drawing skills. Oh, you suck at anatomy. The eyes are crooked. What is that claw? Actually, I'm the one who said that. Oh, here's my little friend come to visit. I kind of just subconsciously made the decision to stop drawing people. Wait, this is actually a really cute moment. He's just sitting there and then he reaches out to touch. Aw, cute. I literally just realized though that I had stopped drawing people because I had this idea to draw this person and then I stopped myself and I was like, wait, what if people make fun of it? No, 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 no. That's bogus. Let's be honest. Most of the time, people who are actually like very skilled artists are not critical of other artists. They know the time and effort that it takes and they're not gonna put somebody else down unless they're just crappy human beings, which, you know, those exist, unfortunately. So basically what I'm trying to say is don't worry about those haters. I know she's not a perfect presentation of a perfectly proportionate human specimen. Let me learn and let me live, okay? I already have my pencil giving me a hard enough time as it is. <laughs> Anyway, the season that I'm documenting is fall. Fall happens to be my favorite season. Fall is beautiful. Leaves changing, colorful, crisp, and perfect snuggly. Mm. At least I got the leaves part. Oh, and the snuggly part because she's uh, cuddling a pumpkin. I will point out that she has exceptionally small feet. This ah. foot was dangerously close to running into the words on the page, and by the time I realized that, I didn't want to have to reposition her whole leg. And then, of course, you know, I had to make her other foot match in size, so she just has shrunken feet. Sorry about it. So to color this in, I decided to use my new Arteza brush pens. I tested these out in a recent squishy makeover video because Arteza was actually sponsoring that video. They're not sponsoring this one by the way but I love these I will say they worked a whole lot better on that really heavy-duty watercolor paper then they worked on this thin paper that's in the book the color just does not spread as evenly and nicely it just sinks right into the paper and blending is just mm, not gonna happen but I am NOT giving up I've already committed. So I'm gonna proceed to struggle through coloring this chick it's all for you sweetie so, announcement, if you were here for the last episode of Create This Book, you may remember that I did a limited run of signed copies of the book. Those books sold out in less than three hours after I'd posted the video. I'm a little bit worried that nobody's gonna buy these. And then I got many, 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 many messages from people who wanted me to do it again. So guess what? I signed 500 more and they are available for sale once again. Just like last time, you will get one signed copy of Create this book too with the signature and two exclusive decals. These designs are brand new and are not available to anybody else at this moment. And once these are gone, this time they are actually gone. I'm not going to be bringing this back anytime soon. I want them to be special for the people who do have them. So just wanted to make that quick announcement and let's get back to the drawing now. And before you ask, because I know some of you are already typing about this, Pickle the Dinosaur, the plush, who was released last Friday, yes, did completely sell out, I believe in just under 14 hours or something like that. I had no idea he was gonna sell so fast. I know there are a lot of people who still wanted one. You know, you have to keep in mind, I'm not a huge company. I only have so much space to use. I don't know if or when there would be a restock of the Pickle Plush. It can take months for these to be manufactured and then they have to be shipped to us as well. I can't just like sit down and whip up a couple thousand 
thousand more dinosaurs to sell real quick. I will say there are more really exciting products around the corner that are already on their way and have already been in progress for a while. You can also follow me on Instagram. I always post at least the day before a product launches. Okay, so I realized that was a lot, a lot of talking about my shop and merchandise, but people have questions, many, many, many questions and requests, and I feel the need to address them. Hopefully I answered your questions. So the image I had in my head of these leaf piles was kind of like a watercolor look where all the colors are kind of flowing into each other and blending really pretty. And it's just like a sea of blurred fall colors in the background. But um, as I said, these brush pens just do not thrive on this paper. So the color wasn't really spreading the way it should have. And so it came out very dotty. It's like a, a sea of fall pimples, but her hair, ooh, poor girl. I really needed that ability to blend here and it just wasn't happening. So her hair is definitely a look that I was not really going for. I'm making fun of this drawing quite a lot, it seems, but I actually don't hate it. In fact, considering all the issues that I ran into, I think it turned out pretty well overall. The background was a source of intense agonization. That's not a word. I couldn't decide how to approach the background and since even these super light colors of brush pens were kind of coming out really dark on this paper I didn't want to risk making the background too dark by using these I suppose I could have brought in another medium to handle the background but I didn't so I just decided to leave it white you'll notice the date was a while ago oh snap I'm exposed yeah create this book is one of those things you know I have more fun with it when I can just kind of work as I have ideas and time for a page I just do it once I've filmed enough pages for a video then I can take the time to put it together and edit it you know so that's what I did here I am so there's my fall girl and I'm gonna name her summer because I can say goodbye to summer we're going to flip back and then flip forward okay where, where are we going? going ah here we are this page says create handprints place your handprints here simple enough so I have hands those are my hands and I'm gonna take some of my leftover paint from something oh my last thrift store makeover and just you know paint those things so we've all made hand prints before it's it's a pretty basic activity that you may have done in preschool at some point it's not the most sophisticated art form so if you have your own create this book too and you want to put a creative spin on this prompt to make it a little bit more interesting then go for it but you know me I'm perfectly happy to take this extremely literal and just actually paint on my hands. There's something therapeutic about doing an art-ish activity that's like this. It's just so simple and familiar. <laughs> kind of. So I talk about how simple this is and then of course I mess it up. I thought about trying to be lazy and getting two handprints out of one hand, but nah. Let's do this thing right. Just do it right, do it right. So here I go painting my other hand and I did paint the colors in the reverse order for this one just to switch it up, you know, keep you on your toes or your fingers. fingers all right, calm down, calm down. I have a little too much fun with the editing sometimes. You gotta chill. No. There's handprint number two, which was somehow worse. <sighs> Faded piece of crap. I'm doing a little patch job. This is how we fake a good handprint. While I'm waiting for that paint to dry, I'm gonna bring in just a random piece of paper and I'm just gonna draw something. As interesting as a set of handprints may be, I wanna add a little something to this that may, you know, rise above the preschool level, just maybe. So I'm drawing a girl, that's right, two human beings in one video. Oh, I'm getting bold now. And she's holding up her hands and she's like, um, I don't know, what do you call that expression? That, and she's got paint on her hands. This really gave me flashbacks from my Wreck This Journal days. Uh, this was very much what I used to do. The activities were so simple and like unartistic that I would just add a drawing of a person doing the activity and bam, we have made it artistic-ish. But this was just a real simple, quick and cute drawing. Her hair came out a little bit weird, but she's trying to rock it. You're not the only
only one here with whack hair. Oh my gosh, I forgot to take a colorless blender to her skin. I knew it was missing something. It just didn't look quite right. Dang it. So we're going for a rough textured look on her skin. I just felt like that's what the piece was asking for. I'm gonna go with that. So that's done. I'm just gonna cut it out and position it where I want it and then just glue that in place. Add the date and my signature. Last step, I'm gonna take this very dirty piece of paper and I'm just sliding that paper under the page to protect the rest of the book because I'm gonna add some matte Mod Podge over top of this. This is so that the colored pencil that I used on the girl doesn't transfer to the other page. The painted part of the page, on the other hand, <laughs> the other hand, it probably doesn't need Mod Podge, but I'm doing it anyway. Here's the final page. You know, it's super simple, but it's cute. I like it. I could have done something more intricate or more conceptual, but this was actually kind of like relaxing to do and I enjoyed making it, so I'm happy with it. I have to tape the book up to hold it open and, and flat and then the, the tape came off. That's what was happening there. Okay, now I'm gonna flip way forward to this page which says create softness, make this page soft. So again, you can take this prompt literally and like glue in um, a blanket. <laughs> I don't know, well, you know, something soft. Or you can do what I'm doing and try to create the illusion of softness. So I'm drawing a big fat sheet Sheep who is sitting on a cloud full of marshmallows. I'm not outlining because I want this to have a very soft look to it, so I'm trying to avoid putting any super dark, harsh lines. I'm just sticking to colored pencils. I am shading and sort of outlining with the pencils because I want there to be some contrast in there or else it'll just look really faded and dull, but not too much contrast. I made the horns into marshmallow twists, which worked out pretty well, but uh, yeah, let me address the fact that the sheep's limbs are also marshmallows. Uh, I was in a weird place when I was making this page, okay? I don't know about this. I mean, I didn't want to draw hooves because hooves are just so harsh and pointy and whenever I see a hoof, I'm just like, yeah, yeah, that could hurt. But that's like the opposite of soft. So I didn't want some nasty hooves ruining my soft picture. Jeez. You okay? That was just Opie's sneezing fit. Had to include that. Back to the marshmallow situation. So you know what I was trying to do here, but honestly, it just looks strange. It's almost like when you see nudity, but it's blurred out. The blur is just so distracting. It's like all you can look at. That's kind of what these marshmallows are doing for me. They're trying to replace those sharp hooves, but they're just really distracting. What? was my voice just now. I'm sorry for what I've done to you, friend. What was I thinking? I don't know. I've created a lot of weird stuff, but this, this is up there. And the really strange thing is that while I was drawing this, I thought nothing of this. Like in my head at the time, this made total sense. Oh yeah, I'll just replace the hooves with marshmallows to make it look softer. I guess it does look soft. You're such a softie. And, and it literally wasn't until the day after I walked into my art room, looked down at this drawing and then I'm like what the you know what though I think I'm getting used to it it's starting to look kind of cute in like a ridiculous kind of way wait a second why doesn't the sheep have ears now it looks weird again so I don't really know what to say about this page you can decide how you feel about it I mean that's always the case but it's just a little bit of a weird one for me I I could probably be convinced that this is ugly or that it's cute and I I just don't know you're just gonna have to tell me what I think. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you guys have enjoyed. Please also enjoy these photos from some of your Create This Book pages. I'm always so blown away by how talented so many of you are. And one very last quick thing, it's that time of the year and I have brand new limited edition pickle sweaters. You can also use the code PICKLE10 for 10% off. Okay, that's it. Bye now.